Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, we will see Raspberry Pi Pico interfacing with ultrasonic sensor and OLED display. So let's get started. So for this project, we will need Raspberry Pi Pico board, OLED display, that is SSD 1306, I2C version, and HCSR04, that is ultrasonic sensor. Few jumper wires and breadboard. This is the connection diagram of our project. You can find the connection diagram on GitHub. The link is mentioned in the description. And here are the pin connection details. So let's do the connection now. So let's look into the coding section now. So here we'll be using library for OLED display. So first we'll transfer the library on Pico. So this is the library for SSD1306. So we'll save. First we have to select the interpreter. So here I have selected as a Raspberry Pi Pico and select the COM port and click on OK. So here in the console you can see the Raspberry Pi Pico is connected and even you can uh, access the console here. So I will save this library file on Pico. So click on save and I will select the Raspberry Pi Pico. Give the name here as a SSD1306.py. Now this file is saved on Raspberry Pi Pico. Now create a new file. So yeah, this is the code for our project. So here in the code, I have imported all the libraries. So this is the resolution of our OLED display. And here we have initialized the I2C interface. So here we are initializing the OLED display. So here we are printing the text on OLED display. Here we are assigning pin number 13 and pin number 14 to echo and trigger respectively. So in this function, we'll get the distance. So here we are making the trigger pin low and high and we are reading the echo pin and based on the calculation we are returning the distance value. So here in the while loop we are clearing the uh, OLED display. So here we are getting the distance from ultrasonic sensor and here we are printing the data on OLED display. So again I will save this file on Pico board only. So here I will select the destination as a Raspberry Pi Pico and I will give some name here. After saving, I will click on run button. It will start executing on Pico. Thanks for watching video. Please like, share and subscribe to the channel for more videos.